Obviously, all this comes down to the execution factor here as we get ready to go into what has come down to a best of one in this series number two for day three. Oh. Is it going to be Team Flash or at Team Lil Gun coming out with a series win? Welcome to Looking at the rotations right now, we have to see if below two minutes the EXP gets attacked again. Yeah. Will Flash go for that? But at this point, they don't have to. All they have to do is just punish Zexora on the turtle. They don't have to do anything crazy here. They can just go for full standard mm -hmm. and it might be fine. Not only that, but you know, even looking at this, uh, because we've been talking about timings and the way you know, that these teams lead it to even that first objective. Whoa, already. Hey, hey! Lozy put down to a fifth of his health. Ethan Ooh. cancels oh, it. Oh, Hit him oh. down! First blood drawn by Lil Gun. Gus of Blast. Uh oh, here we go. Even Hades is bothered. Forbidden Ethan, though. Joseph, you're saying. The concussive blast able to get the kill there, but yeah, I, you know, I was wondering about timings here. How does this, how does this play a part, LaFell? Hey. You mess with the bulls, you get the horn. Yep. Wait, is Minotaur a bull? Uh, he's a he's bull cow. He's a bovine. Bovine? He's is a that bovine. An actual thing? He's a bovine he's humanoid. He's a bull human mix. That's right. Magical right? bull right? human mix. Mess with the horns. Wait, what? Mess with the bull, you get, get the, the horns. horns. And the horns is that's a lot of items. Is a concussive blast. No, we're we're starting this game off. Oh, in mid for bid goes for the flicker, spends it, and that leaves Hades here. With no quarry. Up top though, uh -oh. Adamir gets caught up by it between two. Eisen and ZXR, they get the kill. It's all Lil Gun so far, all the time. Two minutes in, Turtle spawns. So right now, still playing with this advantage that Team Lil Gun has. First Turtle for the taking. We'll see how they respond to this. Also, as Hades actually wants to contest into it. This is a huge advantage by the Mongolian squad right now. Ethan and Eisen putting up a barricade. These big, beefy boys. Adamir coming in from the flank, forcing ZXR to use a retribution, and indeed he will. He's about oh. to get caught up once more, sending him down six feet under the ground. Team Lil Gun continuing the aggression, continuing the assault. Now Lolzy in trouble. Stolen circle eagle. Lolzy survives, though. Two minutes and a half in. Team Lil Gun, three kills up. Question, gentlemen, do you guys feel hungry? Because we might eat our words. Right now, Team Lil Gun is doing pretty well. And again, here's the thing. Team Flash was the one going for the EXP in the early game. This time, Lil Gun's like, we can do that. Birthday fell. Birthday fell. Let me just uh, rewind back before we started blasting Team Lil Gun's draft. Did we not just say whichever team has more synergy, whichever team leans harder on their connection, on their calls, is going to be the one despite whatever the draft says. Right now, Team Lil Gun has the eye of the tiger. Rawr. Contrary to popular belief, that 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 baseline, the yeah. pollute lasts much longer. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. It's, it's quite long. It, it's about four measures. If They're I'm quite long. Wait, what? <laughs> uh, right? Team Lil got 1.6k ahead. That's and they're looking lead. for more. Here we go, Lozy, protecting Vanix with all he's got. Circling Eagle. Is that enough? Ain't no energy explosion there. No taunts just yet. And just like that, Team Lil Gun still circling like sharks around the gold lane. ZXR versus Jay and Lozy. Vanix under the protection of his turret. ZXR like oh. a man on a mission. Taking a few hits. In comes Ethan with the heal. There's a Dark Knight Falls, but it's too late. Lozy already fallen. Now comes oh. Adamir and Hades. Bebex flickering on out. ZXR bites the dust. Hades taken out by Bebex. Part of our memory enough. Now Vanix taking balls onto Forbid's face. Here comes Aizen. They're not done. Big coast to coast oh. rotation. Vanix dashing on back. This may be an overcommitment by Team Lil Gun. Aizen gets a few hits. They both retreat. I gotta say, Team Lil Gun is attacking, imagining that there's no turret there. One thing that you guys have to keep in mind, the be, below five minutes, right? Yeah. Minute one up to minute five, whoever is in the gold uh, gold lane turret, you will have some uh, damage reduction. 25%. So probably not the best idea. I gotta say this is one more item for Hades and it should be good. And let me just say, the way that ZXR is playing, before oh. that. Whoa, 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 Hades dashing on through, turtle. Not gonna be contested this time around. Birthday fell. 
I'm just saying the way that Zixora is playing, we have a term for it called the Psycho Frederick. Where you use yeah. your retribution, yep. not for turtles, not for lords, but for your kills. opponents. That's yeah. right. No, he, he saved the right? retribution for Psycho Frederick. that. So it's, it is definitely Psycho Frederick. Good read. All right. This is uh, Team Lil Gun. Only taking one turret down bottom so far. They can't get him, but they can get the turret. So they still get something here for Team Flash. Once again, working, trying to get some space. When you're down, you know, just this 1K, 2K that they've been against Team Logan, you got to find the wins where you can. And sometimes that's just across the map to open it up a little bit more before, you know, these objectives really come into the Lords in about a minute or so. So with that, Team Flash, if you're looking at them, yeah, they're struggling a little bit, right? But they can slowly turn some of the tides of these skirmishes, these fights. And when things fall into place, especially as Birthday LaFell has been saying, birthday this fell. birthday fell, Hades is going to be a threat eventually when these Lord fights kind of break out here. Yeah, good call for Team Flash because, again, you guys just need the gold and they're standing gold all over the place. And Team Lilgun, if they're late to respawn, I would say this is a good way to approach it. And Ethan felt a bit hungry, but looks like Team Flash, they're going to be able to get away. Yeah, they'll be fine just now once again. Kind of a stalemate here as things fall into place. Let's take oh. a quick look at the items before anything else breaks out. Yeah, Malefic Roar first for Hades. Gonna be very, very interesting here, Ren. I guess it, it does make sense-ish. He's trying to burst them down as fast as possible, but you need the right targets. And if Ethan is wrong, any target is not gonna be a good target. That's gonna be the big problem. Ethan is the big problem here that they have to figure out how to solve. Okay, something tells me they've invested in to the Ethan problem via their battle spells. Three purifies. Yeah. I think they're, they're they're hedging on that. That could work for them, right? And not only that, but if you're able to kind of play around that using the purifies here, if somehow, some way, they can take out Bevex, they lose a lot of that damage, right? They can play around that right now, though. With this Lord up, both teams getting a position. Both mid turrets in the tier one also still up, so. That's even for now, but this is the hard part. We know why Fredrin is was so popular before. They go in. Whoa, ZXora commits, oh. forcing out a penalty zone from Adamir now inside that bush. Final slash on the J. J goes down. Eisen gets the kill. It's a 5v4 situation. Both teams let go of the Lord. They reset. Adamir keeps this bush. That's an engage right there. Ethan checks in on the Hades. Silences him, forces out of oh, no fury, and there's one more. Hades goes down. Isaac gets the kill. Three v five this time around. Final slash stolen away. Moves out of a position. The Lord clearly taken here by Team Lil Gun. Hades is a non-factor right now. Team Lil Gun, they're on him 24/7. Is the reverse bodyguard like they're always threatening him, making it so that. He is nowhere near any neutral objectives. Yeah. Right? At this point, even if you get all your items, if you're not there for the fight, the items don't matter. And with that, I'm, I'm, you know, it's tough to see, but Hades is in a very similar situation from the previous game. You know, when he had the Hayabusa, this time with the Hellkurt. At this point, you, you kind of just want Team Lil Gun to win the first game. Well, make them download the virus. <laughs> give them... That, give Give them, uh, you know, the confidence to lose game number two and three. That's the logic, right? That's well, how you beat a team that likes reverse sweeps. Yeah, yeah. you let them win the first one. It's all they part downloaded of the, plan. the wrong file. Well, file or not, right now, Team Logan now with almost a 5K gold lead. Once again, very reminiscent of the previous one. They're going to continue to get these turrets down, get the space advantage they need. So you're really wondering, Team Flash, how do they get back into this? How do they keep things at bay because by the next Lord, less than two minutes away, this could be a fully exposed base for them. Oh, what's Five difficult? man penalty zone. From a ridiculous situation, you gotta do ridiculous things. You're right, Birthday Fell, you're right. But on a more realistic <laughs> out perspective, of the, out of the universe. number one is maybe they find a way to actually split up the map, open it up so that Dark Knight Falls actually matters. Dark Knight falls inside your opponent's base when you're defending, really does very little. So maybe if they're able to buy space on the map, have more farm on Vanix, have Hades maybe isolate one or two members, go from there, that's one way Team Flash might be able to clap back. Okay, the real answer is, 
<laughs> so that's not the real answer from Leo. <laughs> no, 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 no. I said like for me, for me. Okay. okay. For me, for me. The real answer is to pretend you want a front to back. And then let Hades All flank. Right. Okay. That's I, the real that's, analyst that's, answer. That's one possible move is because yeah. we've actually seen this from MPLI. Yeah. We've seen RSGPH, the champions from that very MPLI, yeah. commit to a reverse collapse. Wherein they were the ones baiting it, baiting it, baiting yeah, it, yeah. winning the fight along the way, forcing their opponent. So you're right. Is my real answer better? Then I'll, five I'll man accept both. Zone. All right. I'll accept both. Both are valid. Hey, yeah, both are valid. Look, if the five-man penalty zone happens, we'll scream. If that's your hypothesis, we'll accept it. That's Thank right. You. Thank you. Mr. Teacher. Rezebek accepts. All right. Your, 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 your professor accepts. One thing that oh, I... Oh, there it is. Know, finally. Oh, yeah, there it is. One thing I got to say, too, is Team Flash, think about how they won the uh, championship, right? That is still oh. a possibility for for a team like this. And that is something that always has to happen because sometimes, LaFell, you've said this yourself, tunnel vision can kill some of these teams here. And we've seen multiple teams kind of get so zoned in on one thing. That's right. And the lineup that Team Lilgun drafted is very, very conditional, very specific. Now, they almost got Lozi. They committed one ult there, final slash. But right now, they're repositioning. The dance has continued. Oh, Ethan, Ethan put down to less than half health. Going to have to heal out. Going to have to retreat. Look at Adam here wailing away. Oh, Eisen. Big, big damage from Vanix. And Vanix is still alive. Zexora misses. Hades. There's a stolen Dark Knight falls out. Hades goes for the steal, but Zexora back on the scene. One for one so far. Down goes Jay. And that's a trade. Vanix very low. Ken Zexora gets it. Speeds it up to Bebex. Now it's Adamir up on the docket. Three for one so far. Team Lilgun mowing through. The inevitable has come. Team Flash had the right idea. Get to a very cramped up position so that it's easier for Adamir to use the penalty zone. But unfortunately, he didn't get five. He got zero. Jay will be up here in just a couple seconds. They're going to lose the mid turret though. Or they're going to push it in. It's a five man assault. Just two defenders, Jay and Hades. Panics up in five seconds. They're gonna trample on through the base. Ladies and gentlemen, Team Little God reloaded, regrouped, and reverse sweep this series.